This week on The Cone, we're talking about the top five sickest dog breeds of 2018. As a veterinarian, I see a lot of sick dogs, but I definitely see some breeds more than others and often for the same reasons over and over. So which breeds have gone to the vet the most so far this year? Let's get into it. And now, one of the top five sickest vets on the internet, Dr. Andy Rourke. I have got something so special for you today. This list is never before seen and based on medical claims through Pet Plan, Pet Insurance. So, without further ado, what were the top five sickest breeds and why? Counting them down, number five, the Golden Doodle. That's right. I'm calling Golden Doodles a breed, and they are coming in number five on our list. These are absolutely wonderful dogs, and my wife desperately wants one. They do have some common problems, though. The most common reason the Golden Doodles come into the vet is general upset stomach. I'm talking nondescript vomiting and diarrhea here. My personal take on this is that doodles love to chew and put things in their mouths. They also have a bad habit of eating things they shouldn't and raiding the trash can. This is especially true in younger members of the breed. I'm talking around one year old here. So it's something people who own these dogs need to be aware of. Another common cause for trips to the vet is allergies. So be aware that this is a problem in golden doodles and that they're prone to it. Number four, the Yorkshire Terrier. The Yorkie is the only small breed on the list this year, and it's because of the same problems that plague the Golden Doodle. They tend to get upset stomach, and they are prone to allergies. In my experience, Yorkshire Terriers are less likely to eat non-food items like socks or stuffed animals than many of the large breeds, but they do have sensitive stomachs that can really go haywire when they get table scraps or foods that they're not used to. Just be careful about what they're allowed to eat and be vigilant on walks so they don't scarf up stuff they find. That's gonna upset their stomach and really set them off. Number three, the German Shepherd. The first dog I ever had in my life was a German Shepherd named Heiko. I have always had and will always have a soft spot in my heart for these dogs. They are the third most common breed in to see the vet this year. And if you spent much time around them, you probably know why. The most common reason that German Shepherds are coming in is lameness. My guess is that this comes from two different reasons and those reasons often overlap. Lots of people work these dogs doing guard work police work and or Schutzen, which is awesome if you've never seen it. The Shepherds are incredible at these chasing and grabbing activities, but there's an obvious risk of injury there. Also, this is something important to know, because of the confirmation of the breed in the past with their sloped backs, they have a high likelihood of hip problems like arthritis or hip dysplasia. In some cases, I think German Shepherds have a lameness because of how hard they go. In other cases, it's because of joint problems. And in still other cases, it's because they're going really hard while they have underlying joint problems and those things compound. So, if you have one of these dogs, ask your vet about how you can protect his or her mobility for the long term. The other most common reason that vets see GSDs is allergies. They have a bad habit of being itchers, so know that that could be in the cards. Number two, the Labrador Retriever. America's favorite dog is number two on the list for one big reason, and then a bunch of smaller supporting reasons. The big reason the Labrador goes into the vet's office is probably not what you're thinking, lameness. Some of you said eating foreign objects, which they are bad about, and that would have been my guess too. But the most common cause for going to the vet and filling out a pet health insurance claim is lameness and limping. 
This makes sense because of the bad habit Labrador Retrievers have of getting knee injuries. Unlike the German Shepherds, where we primarily see hip problems, here we see knee problems and specifically damaged or torn cruciate ligaments like ACLs in people. Ask your vet how you can protect mobility if you are a Labrador Retriever owner. Other problems include vomiting, the labs can be trash monsters and they eat things that they shouldn't, and allergies as well. And the number one breed for visiting the vet this year, it's also my favorite breed, the Golden Retriever. Some of the top reasons that Goldens are coming into the vet clinic are lameness and upset stomach, just like in the Labradors. But unfortunately, the number one reason they come in and ultimately file a claim with Pet Plan is for cancer. I've put off discussing cancer on this list, even though it is one of the top reasons pet insurance claims get filed for every breed that we've discussed. And it is the number one cause of death in all dogs. The sad truth is the golden retrievers seem prone to cancer and it's heartbreaking. If you have a golden or any breed of dog, make sure you're getting annual examinations at the veterinarian and also asking your vet about any lumps, bumps, fainting spells or changes in behavior as they occur. Don't put it off. If you see something, just ask about it. In older dogs, I recommend annual blood work if it's possible to try to screen for any kinds of cancers or other diseases that we might catch early. If you ever have questions about pets and cancer, I encourage you to reach out to your veterinarian with questions. And that is our show. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. I hope it's something that's different and interesting. And it is, it's definitely something that we haven't done in the past. Let me know if you like it, if you'd like to see other episodes like this, and we can make them happen. This episode of Kona Shame was made possible by Pet Plan Pet Insurance. They provided us with the data, and we couldn't have talked about all this stuff without them. If you have questions about pet insurance, we have a whole Kona Shame episode that talks about it. Until next time, please leave me any comments, anything that you're thinking about in the comments section. I love to hear from you. We're always trying to make the show better. I will see you soon, but until then, let's be the people that our pets deserve. <laughs>